Hi guys, Rachel Bop here. Welcome to Sim Saturday. Today I have the pleasure of interviewing Sim Guru Graham. Totally excited, a little bit nervous. I'm going to be asking him about Sims 3 Island Paradise, which is due out later this month. Can't wait. You guys have no idea how nervous I get before these things. I'll get my questions, send me my questions. I have a selection of questions written down in my Sims 3 notepad. I'm wearing my plum bob, of course. Some of these questions you guys have given me and some of them I've made up myself. I'm so scared. Enjoy the experience. Enjoy the experience. It's just signed in. It's like nine in the morning there. It's five PM here. This is Friday and I'm actually doing this. Hope my heart doesn't flatline. Maybe Graham gets nervous too. Is it awful? I hope he does. Yeah. I don't need to be nervous. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Just didn't get my ready to get hi Graham, right you up here. I'm really scared. I'm alone. Born out to get lucky. I'm a born out to get lucky. I'm a born out to get lucky. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure why we can't hear or see you then. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I, I don't know if you want to figure it out on your end or maybe you just want to type your questions. Um, um, I guess whatever works for you. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's fine with me. <laughs> okay. No problem, it's all good. It's always a challenge doing these things a little. <laughs> I know, right, so I'm having to type my questions. So do mer do mermaids have special powers? <clears throat> okay, so mermaids, yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, obviously, we're excited about them just because they are a brand new cult. Uh, for the Sims, they've never been in the game before, and as far as special powers, um, they do have some advantages over the normal Sims. So, anytime they're doing something in the ocean, be it swimming or you know scuba diving, snorkeling, they're faster and they're better at it than any other Sim is going to be. Uh -huh. um, they're able to avoid fights with sharks, for example. So, any of that kind of danger that lurks underneath the waters, they'll be able to avoid. Uh, and then they have some uh, neat little things that they can do. Um, they actually, they can pull out fish and like chomp down on them. <laughs> so that's one of the ways that they fill their hunger motive. And then when they're up on land, uh, one of their motive decays is kind of, you know, staying hydrated. So um, instead of some of the normal ones that the Sim would have, they need to be wet, you know, for every period of time to kind of refresh themselves. So if they stay out of the water for too long, they'll actually you know, eventually die of dehydration. And uh, one of the other kind of neat aspects of it is you can still get them wet. So, you know, maybe it rains if you have the Sims 3 seasons and that refreshes them or you take a shower, but really they need to get back into the ocean, into that salt water to really revitalize themselves. Because if you just give them fresh water for too long, they'll actually turn back into a human. Um, and one of the really cool things, if you're an evil mermaid, then you get this conch shell to blow on uh, which can actually summon sharks. So there's a there's a few little neat details for them, but really they're all about being better in the water than Sims. That's so cool. 
Um, can sharks oh, attack while our guard regular swimming? Or do you need to scuba dive? Ah, yes. So, uh, sharks are actually uh, quite dangerous if you uh, spend a little too much time around them. So, uh, not only will you encounter them while scuba diving, but they are uh, up on the surface of the water in some areas of Isla Paradiso. Mm -hmm. um, so, you do want to watch out for them, but you'll be able to see them. So, um, you know, kind of that tall tail shark fin uh, cutting through the surface of the water. If you spot that, um, you might want to stay out of that area. Uh, one of the kind of fun little Easter eggs in there is if you have a piece of meat in your Sims inventory and you're swimming near them, um, you're much more likely to get attacked, so uh, watch out for that. Um, but yeah, so in both places you uh, you might run into and encounter a shark. Okay. Can we place resorts in vacation wells? Um, Yeah, so the resorts. Um, the way that the resorts work, uh, for Isla Paradiso at least, it comes with three resorts already built into it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you actually have one that's kind of in misrepair and you get an opportunity as soon as you uh, start to live in that world to actually fix it up, um, you know, take it out of foreclosure uh, and run it yourself. But if you're living in the other home world, you can make uh, the resorts there as well. So any home world, um, but you won't be able to build resorts in, say, the Sims 3 World Adventures or the Sims 3 University Life. Mm -hmm. uh, they're only for the worlds that you physically live in. Okay, right. Who can you hire on your houseboat? So the, the houseboats are... They're interesting in that they're not really any different from any other lot. It's not a unique lot type. Um, so if you're living on a houseboat and you're treating it like your home lot um, or your main residence, um, anybody you could hire, you know, on a normal home right now, you could also hire on your houseboat. Okay. Um, same thing kind of goes if you turn it into a community lot. Um, you know, if you have a professional bar, you know, you're using one of the late night bars. Um, you could hire a bartender for that if you wanted. Uh, you know, same thing if you're running a resort from Isla Paradiso, uh, all those resort employees you could hire onto your houseboat. So there, there's nothing unique about the houseboat in the sense that it works differently from other lots, which is really kind of the great thing about it. It works like any other lot. It's just this mobile platform that can move around, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me more about Swan. Paddle boats. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the swan paddle boats, yes. Uh, so that's actually a really fun thing. Um, when we were thinking about the different types of boats that we would have in the world, uh, one of our designers, John Burgess, he absolutely fell in love with the idea of having the swan paddle boat. And it's kind of, you know, one of those really iconic boats that you kind of see around the world. And it's always fun. So, you know, we wanted to have a few fun variations in there. Um, so yeah, if your sim wants to paddle around in a little swan boat, uh, they totally can and it's just this kind of cool thing to do. Um, I love it and actually I ran into another swan paddle boat in a different game yesterday and I was like, oh no, we're not the first one. But <laughs> they're, they're still really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about the Kraken. Ooh, the Kraken, yes. Um, so the Kraken is the gigantic monster that you may encounter when you're out in the ocean. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's kind of fun to me is when we first announced Island Paradise, uh, a lot of people saw that initial trailer or the screenshots and they thought, play with the Kraken. And they saw those like tentacles coming out of the, uh, the cave underwater. Mm -hmm. uh, and everybody assumed that that was the Kraken. And it totally isn't. The cave monster is something completely separate. Mm -hmm. um, the Kraken, as I'm sure you've seen recently, is a gigantic monster that comes up to the surface of the ocean um, and it'll attack sims that are in boats. Um, so kind of the further your boat gets away from the main island, 
uh, or out in the deeper waters, the greater chance you have of uh, being attacked by the Kraken. Awesome. Um, oh. Same thing with uh, if you're just spending a lot of time out on the ocean. Kind of the longer you're out there, the more attention you're going to draw to yourself from the Kraken. Mm -hmm. uh, so my advice would be to keep keep on the move. I wouldn't stay in one spot for too long. <laughs> uh, but he is still, you know, fairly rare occurrence. Uh, we didn't want the Kraken to be something that's, you know, just a common everyday thing that you see. So um, you might have to, you know, take a little time out there to actually get him. But it's super cool. He's going to come up. He'll attack a boat. He just kind of rips it to pieces. Uh, and then the Sims are just left stranded in the water out there, which is actually a really fun way to kind of uh, start one of those castaway stories, um, which is great because obviously, you know, the limited edition is coming with that cool kind of castaway survival pack. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, definitely a pre-order for that, which is really yeah. cool. Okay. Um, are there any new collectibles? Yeah, there's a, a bunch of new collectibles actually. This is a really great pack if you like collecting stuff. Um, so one of the brand new types of collectibles is the seashells. So kind of as you wander around the new beaches in Isla Paradiso or scuba dive underwater, um, you're gonna be able to find seashells, which they look really neat. They're great for displaying around the house. So um, players should really enjoy those. And then we've added a bunch of new types of fish as well. So. Um, definitely while well, scuba diving is a great place to find those. Things like eels, um, octopus, squid, uh, boy, there, there's a bunch of new types. I forget them all off the top of my head, but uh, if you like collecting, you'll find those too. Uh, then there's the messages in bottles, which is kind of fun. So as you poke around different corners of the island, you'll find these messages hidden in the bottles. And they all have unique text, you know, kind of fun stuff to find and read, uh, little adventures to piece together. And you might even find map pieces inside them, which will lead you to one of the uncharted islands. And then finally, it's not really a collectible per se, but if you're digging around looking for hidden stuff, uh, there's treasure chests that are scattered around the island as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are both above water. You might find one, you know, tucked inside a little hidden uh, outcropping of rocks or if you're scuba diving, they're actually underwater as well. So um, those are fun to find. So lo lots of stuff for people to kind of uh, go out and discover in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a new gnome? <laughs> yeah, there is a new gnome. Um, you should actually, if you have uh, Sim Guru Trev on uh, Twitter, I'm sure he would love to talk about the new gnome because he absolutely loves magic gnomes. Okay. Um, but yeah, there is a new gnome. Sim He's Guru. kind of a scuba diver gnome. Um, so you might find him underwater. Those treasure trusts are a uh, great place to discover him. And uh, I love watching him because he actually will do different scuba diving poses when you have him in your house. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, okay. Uh, uh, what? Secret does the statue hold? Ooh, the secret that the statue holds. You know, I actually I have no idea. I saw Sim Guru Magnus uh, tweet about that, and I do not know what he was talking about. So <laughs> if you want to discover the secret, uh, you'll actually have to ring that out of him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm told that I have time for one more question. Uh, by the way, so let's make the last one a good one. Okay. Um, what? Your favorite thing, thing about Island Paradise? Oh, you know, my favorite thing, <laughs> I, I love the houseboats only because I was so personally involved with those. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they were my big feature that I worked on, and they're super cool. Like, the amount of freedom that they really give players to kind of not only build anything and everything that you want on it, but then just move around the world. Um, you know, not only is it just this fun feature to play with, but it's kind of mind blowing to me from a technical standpoint, just that we were able to do that and kind of how well it worked out, which is, mm -hmm. I, I think players are really going to love taking advantage of them. And of course it's nice because you can bring them into other worlds. Um, you can enjoy those anywhere. And then I, I have to kind of split it with the scuba diving as well, just because it's something that's, so different from anything you've ever seen in a Sims game, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, the scuba diving is mind-blowing the first time you do it, so uh, there's there's so much good new stuff to look forward to in this pack. It's, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you so much for answering the questions. So excited for IP. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're super excited for it as well. Obviously it's out soon, so uh, mm -hmm. let's see, June 25th in North America, but June 29th in the UK, I believe. Uh, so, uh, Definitely coming soon. It's going to be fun. Um, and then just a quick reminder, uh, obviously if you pick it up on Origin, there's going to be that Carnival kind of uh, costume pack, which is really uh -huh. neat. Um, from what my cast artists tell us, uh, some of the, the like the headdresses the, that the island theme has are some of the most detailed that we've ever done. So they're actually, they're pretty cool to check out. Mm -hmm. And um, also because you're on the interviews today, we're actually sending some unique assets to you. Uh, which are going to be exclusive until Monday. So uh, take a look in your email for those in a little bit. Thank you. Um, but there's some neat pictures in there for you. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> next we'll see you on June 18th for the live broadcast. Uh, thanks for chatting with me today. <laughs> Sorry we couldn't be face to face, Lord. <laughs> I can't believe my camera didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work, it was working on my PC, it just didn't work. I didn't get time to answer, answer all the questions I would written down, but I got some good ones, so I hope you enjoyed those. Um, thank you so much to Singuru Graham for carrying on, even though he had to sort of answer while I was typing, and I think between us we got through it, and I really enjoyed doing that. I, I don't know why I was so nervous, I really, really enjoyed it. So thank you to Sim Guru Graham and all the Sims team for allowing me to interview them. Looking forward to getting those cast items. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this. If you have any more questions about Alan Paradise, let me know in the comments and if I know the answer, I will try to answer them for you. Because obviously over the past few weeks, we've got quite a lot of information. I have played it as well. So please ask me and I'll try and answer in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for persevering with the technical difficulties. I love you guys and I will see See you in my next video. Bye!